Get it off your chest. Toll-free number 888-775-3773. We had our monthly men's forum last night. And uh, it was very, very, very uh, rewarding. It was uh, lots of good conversation and solutions. And the men were very open and honest. And it was amazing. I realized more and more and more the impact that not having a father and mother together, raising their children, and being good parents to them, a good example, it is devastating in many ways in that it affects the way you feel, the way you think, uh, your growth. It is mind-blowing to see that. And I see it more and more now, and mainly because, you know, I used, uh, when I first started this work, I would think, why did I see this growing up? I didn't see men, so many men of all races, who are mentally immature and incapable of taking care of themselves in the way that a man should do it. And... But I'm realizing now it's because when I was growing up, there were more uh, families. You know, there were families where fathers and mothers were together. Grandparents were together. And they were working and doing their things. They weren't perfect in life. But at least they sat an example of the family. And, you know, they helped you mature. And that's not happening today in many, many many lives of, in the lives of many, many younger adults from 55 down. It's just mind-blowing. It looked like, I know that all things you can overcome, but it looked like it's so difficult to overcome that lack of growth mentally when you're older, as you get older. And uh, it's just, it's really something else. And I, when God ordained the family, when he married Adam and Eve and put them together as husband and wife, not partners, but husband and wife, he, um, it was for a reason. And nothing else worked but that if you want to have children. And it's just mind-blowing to see that. If you want to have, you know, family, they need a father and mother. And that father needs to love God with all his heart, soul, and might, along with nothing else. And then love his family, uh, God, with the love of God operating through him. And that, that's the way to go. Work, set the example, and the kids are going to pattern after the, uh, the father and the mother. Because the daughters will act the way that the mothers act with her husband, their fathers, fathers, and then the uh, when they and the boys are gonna see that, and when they get married, they're gonna marry the type of mother that they were raised by, and that would be a good one when that order is there. It is. It was so interesting. As a matter of fact, the meeting was so interesting. It went overtime last night. Yesterday was a very, very impact and busy day for everybody here. We ended up taping, you know, we, I did a 5 a.m. radio interview yesterday and then the three-hour show here. And after that, we taped three, one, two, yeah, three episodes, brand new episodes of The Fallen State. And we had our men form last night. So it was busy, but it was all worth it. Get it done Get it done. Get it done. We got to put the families back together. It is, it is, you know, and then there's this secular world out there who want to impose all these crazy ideas about life and about family, want to change the order of family and cause you to think differently, and it's just so destructive. There's no love in it, no good in it. And it, it is, uh, at this point, it's taking over everything. 
including the churches. I interviewed a woman for the Father State, and it's going to be coming up in a couple of weeks here, I guess. And it, I, I had no idea what she was talking about. It just didn't make sense. But the world has gotten to her. And, um, and she's making money off it on her YouTube. We must, if you want to succeed in life, you must, uh, you must return to the Father, folks. I'm telling you, if you want that sound mind, if you want to grow and endure and overcome all things, you got to return to the Father. There's no other way to do it because if you're not, have you, if you don't return to God, then you're going to end up, Satan is your father and his mindset is all messed up. It's anger, anger it's insecurity, it's doubt, it's jealousy and fear, envy and strife. He, it causes you to do things you wouldn't ordinarily do to yourself. It's just crazy. I have a a, a great definition of courage that I found. Courage. Uh, it says that courage is persisting in every good work and in overcoming the passions of soul and body. Courage is persisting in every good work and in overcoming the passions of soul and body. And that is because our struggle is not against flesh and blood, nor is it against other men, but it's against principalities and wickedness and demons, unseen demons in high places. It's a spiritual battle. You've got to overcome the passions of the soul and body. But the secular world is encouraging you to get more involved with the passions of the soul and body. They, they got it all dressed up and make it look like it's the right thing to do, and it's not. You got to be persistent in doing good work and every good work. You have to be that, you know. Pers real courage is persisting in every good work and overcoming the passion of the soul and body. It's not about sharing your feelings and all this crap you've been told by the secular world. Those people are of their father, the devil, they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, but it's wrong. And whether you know it or not, accept it or not, believe it or not, you serve one or the other. There's no gray area. Either you're of your father, the devil, or you're of your father, God. You are not in control of anything. Because if you are in control of anything, all things that you do for yourself would be good. You would treat yourself well. You wouldn't allow yourself to be controlled mentally and emotionally by anybody or anything. Angry people are easily controlled. You, you can cr control an easy person like, just like that because they have no control of their lives. Really. And, they, and, and in many cases, most cases, they don't see that. They are, they are being controlled. They'll say, oh, no, I'm not being controlled. But you are, and you can't help it because your father, the devil, is weak. One last time, courage is persisting in every good work and in overcoming and in overcoming the passions of soul and body. Our battle is spiritual.